Okay then, so we've just got here to the Royal International Air Tattoo 2023. We've just parked the motorbike up. Uh, we're gonna head off now and see which way we've got to go. Hopefully we get in okay, but I'm gonna give you my view of what this day is gonna be like. Uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. So the time is about nine o'clock and the queue to get into the place was very well managed. There was no queues at all. Uh, literally come straight in, parked up, and now I'm walking towards the entrance. So, so far, so good. Uh, for the last couple of days, it's been very heavy rain, but it seems like it's gonna be all right today. So let's go get in and I'll show you around. So we're just coming up to now the security checks. Obviously, I'm not going to film this part of it, but there doesn't seem to be much queues at nine o'clock in the morning. There's loads of people checking bags and whatnot. So I'll meet you on the other side. So we just made it through security. No hassles at all. They are very thorough. Though. They do check every bag. My bag had to go through an x-ray machine. But yeah, now we're into the, the RAF base. Now I will have to apologize. I'm afraid I'm not really up with my jets. But that one over there, is that the new one from America? I can't remember the name, is it the F-30 possibly? Maybe, oh, I don't know if I'm saying that wrong. And there we go, I got it wrong. It's the actually, actually called the F-35 Lightning II. Not the F-30. Oh, not sure even if there is an F-30. Please let me know though again in the comments below. But what a bit of equipment that is, eh? Now, uh, again, I'm not sure which one this is, but wow, what a jet that is. Absolute work of art, eh? Now, that one's a nice one now. What one's that, do you reckon? Again, let me know in the comments. Now, the price to get into the Riyadh Air Show 2023 was approximately £70 pound a ticket. I paid an additional £30 pound to go into the viewing garden area, which I wasn't too sure what this actually was. I paid the money hopefully to get a better view of the planes. So let's go find out where I'm meant to be. So this is where you get all your food from. If you're hungry, they've got loads of barbecue stands and fast food bits. Got a bar over there, patties, steak and chips, pizzas. Yeah, loads of places to eat. Right, I think I've made it to the blue section now. This is where I'm meant to be. So after walking around for another five minutes helplessly trying to find how you get to them blue stands over there, I found a flag that says the viewing village. Hopefully you can see that. So that's where we're going in. Hopefully we can get somewhere good to sit. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go see. Now I don't think there's going to be a problem sitting here because the planes are going to be obviously in the sky unless you want to get takeoff photos which i'm not particularly fond of but let's just have a look along the front see if we can find somewhere to sit and with the viewing garden you literally just helped yourself to a chair that was available so pretty much i could sit anywhere the only downside was that all the chairs at the front had already been taken uh, is it worth the extra £30? Probably not. I guess the only thing you get here is a chair. So if you can bring your own chairs, then obviously you don't need a viewing, ga uh, viewing garden. But over, hopefully you can see that fence over there. On the other side of that, it's £30 less. And it's in exactly the same position as what I am now. So we'll see how it goes. I may move back a little bit. So this is what I've bought. I've got all my action camera bits there to film for you guys. And in here we've got my camera equipment. I bought the Sony A6600 with the 70 to 350. I've also got the A7C with the uh, 150, 150 to 600 mil super telephoto lens. And if you're wondering, do you need an expensive camera to take photographs at an air show? Definitely not. Any camera will do. There was people taking photos with their phones, with compact cameras, and getting absolute stunning shots. At the end of the day, cameras are all about capturing memories. So the best camera to have is the one that you have in hand. But for anybody that does want a little help with their settings to capturing fast moving jets, I'll flash them on screen now. You just pause the video so you can take them all in.
and it is with great pleasure that I give you the Royal Air Force Chinook Display Team. Now the tannoy system does sound loud, but compared to some of the jets, wowzers, they are extremely loud, as you'll see in the next couple of clips. So if you're taking along little ones or you've got sensitive hearing, it might be worth buying a couple of pairs of ear defenders. So after the first few air displays, I decided to pack up the camera equipment Go for a little walk around RAF Fairford, show you some of the merchandise that is on sale at the Royal International Air Tattoo. Let me show you what was on offer. You can even buy your camera equipment here if you want. Buy a nice lens there for eight and a half grand, <laughs> should you want one. I bet they're doing a roaring trade on monopods. Ooh, that is beautiful. You have to come back along and get the Mrs. Saint from there. She likes supporting the poppy appeal. Sunglasses, retro ones. Strawberries through. Morning. Some die cast models. Is it free here, sir? So we're just getting my elbow checked over before I go and do some photography on the uh, runway over there. But this kind gentleman has offered to give me therapy on my elbow so I can hold my camera up. Now let me show you the company. Ni Niagara Healthcare. Niagara, Niagara Healthcare. Make sure you check them out. Just, just tell me how that feels for starters. Whoa, that feels different, doesn't it? It's made it go all numb. Now he's doing my wrist as well. As you can see, I've got wrist support on because I keep straining it while doing something to it. Got the Red Arrows official store. Oh, my missus would like that poppy umbrella. I'm definitely going to have to buy a Saint before I leave. The old grab bags. Now I bet they've done a good trade on their waterproof Gore-Tex army surplus because uh, the last two days it's been absolutely pissing down. So if anyone that's um, been on Friday and Saturday, I feel so sorry for you. Bloody awful weather. And with all the stalls being located on one of the taxiways, which is two and a half kilometers long, they literally carried on going and going and going. There were so, so many things to buy, and I've not even touched upon all the free experiences, meeting the pilots, and other activities they got on during the day. I could have made a whole video about just all the merchandise and gifts and things for sale at the event. It really was impressive how many stands were there. The only downside to it was the air show continued as I was walking around all the stands, which means you have to compromise between watching the air show or going to look at all the stalls. To fully get the most out of the experience at the rear air show, it's probably best to go over two days if you can afford it. Anyway, let's get back and watch the air show. Air Captain, please give a warm welcome to Royal Air Force Air Force Air Force Air Force This video doesn't show you is that during some of the displays it absolutely dumped it down with rain and to protect all the camera equipment obviously I covered it all up. Good old British weather and that is something that you have to take into account when booking anything in the UK.
uh, particularly uh, friendly at uh, this airshow. But the Tornado is capable of pre-armed lift up and thrust reverse. So we're just leaving now. It's been absolutely hammering it down. I wish I would have done more talking during the shows, but you couldn't hear me over the tunnel. The tunnel system was extremely loud. We've got a massive black cloud coming behind us. Look at that. It's going to absolutely dump it down in. So it was at this point I'd done an amazing outro to the video, told you all about the day and how the experience was. It was only later on once I got home that I realised my microphone had run out of battery and thus I've got to do it all again. So what do I think to the Rear Airs show? Well, I've never been to an event so well organised ever before. When I say this was run with military precision, it literally was. Everything including traffic control, searches of the bags and the way the planes were all taken off one after the other was just unbelievable. Like I say, I've never been to an event before that was so well run. The only three negatives that I could truly think of was one, the weather, which was out of the organizer's control, two, the price of the viewing garden, which in my opinion was a little bit too expensive, if you paid £10 extra, maybe, and the third and final one is I wish I would have booked for two days rather than just one, so I got the full experience of going around all the stalls and taking in the full experience of the Ria Air Show. So do I recommend it? 100%. If you can afford it, book for two days minimum and you are going to have the most incredible of experiences. I'm going to leave you now with a couple of shots I took during the day. And what I need from you now is if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So hit that subscribe button. It's completely free and it helps me out. And yeah, we'll catch up in the next video. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you soon, guys.